I thank you all so much for coming to hang out at Virginia State. Uh, and thank you, honestly, for what you do in and around our communities. Uh, we get a chance to see the uh, fancy young people uh, when they get to Virginia State, but we know that a lot has been poured into them before they got here, and I always, always want to say thank you for that. really want to see teachers collaborating with students, listening to their input about topics that are of interest to them and also engaging our community. So we're a small school district, so we're only one elementary school, one middle school, and one high school. And what Valens allowed us to do is to communicate amongst the three schools to kind of collaborate on what we're doing and unify it where we're building upon our students from elementary school to middle school to high schools. For Virginia State, it's about us making sure that um, school divisions know that we are here as a resource as well as to share as thought partners in how we can solve some of the uh, world problems of the future today. Valen is very much about preserving and empowering and supplementing the efforts of our teachers and our leaders. That what I would like to see change for students in education is that there are more opportunities for young people to really find a sense of value in what they're learning how Valen works and how what Valen is about is that it's filled with people who when the charge came to lead change they stepped in the room. I want to energize around transformation in education that really meets the needs of students, all students. The last time we were together as a large cohort in October we were launching on a journey. Now it's February. We're all on a journey now. And this is an opportunity to rendezvous with others who are on a similar journey. And as we've referenced the metaphor to the mountain climbing, this is our base camp to come back and share what we've learned, trade resources and secrets, and then go back out into the wilderness and find our way back up. Students have to have voice. Without voice and choice, then I think that we are leaving out an important part of the equation. And for too long, we're so good at dictating and telling. And not only do our students need to have choice and voice, but we need to really engage our families in meaningful ways. They need to be our partners in this work. Because students, they can't just learn from a teacher. They learn at home. They learn within their community. So we all have to collectively come together, partner, in order to provide our students opportunities that they're not normally going to get in a traditional K-12 system. We know there are standards in Virginia, and you have to learn them. But, you know, what's the best way, even for those standards that kids are like, oh, not this again, you know, Hey, go out there, check out what does Google say? What AI, what can you generate through, you know, AI that makes this, this SOL objective or this standard more exciting and engaging for you? So again, I reiterate student voice. It's very important that in Valen, students have an opportunity to weigh in on, if not design, the actual structures that education leaders across Virginia are working toward. I would love to see greater participation at the leadership level in Valen cohorts. My hope is that in 6.0, each Valen division brings at least one student in real leadership roles for their work.